The Ashaman MP, Ernest Henry Nogbe, said he discovered the omission of the names when he showed up at the verification exercise on Friday. According to him, this is a deliberate attempt by the Electoral Commission to disenfranchise some persons perceived to be supporters of the opposition National Democratic Congress. The Ashaman MP, who said over 21,000 names were eliminated from the register, claims majority of them are notness and averse. He states that even his name was eliminated from the register. He, however, said the EC, as of Saturday morning, has restored his name together with some 14,000 names. He has thus sent a strong signal for the remaining 7,000 names to be restored within 48 hours or face the wrath of the people of Ashaman. He said this at a press conference at Ashaman. I made my figure yesterday when I raised the concerns, but in less than 24 hours, they have managed to restore about 14,000 names, including myself. Including myself. Yes. Where did they get? Where did they get? The names of the 14,000 people, that is the question we should be asking the Electoral Commission. If as at yesterday, the, the register was short of uh, 21,000, and this morning they quickly restored 14,000 people, then we should be asking the Electoral Commission some questions. We seek the EC to restore the difference of 7,000 names and that is still missing from the register, or else face the wrath of the people of Ashama. We shall occupy the District Electoral Commission office to get the anomaly resolved till the last person, the last person's name is restored. Meanwhile, the Electoral Commission disputed the claims. Snapshots of the provisional register from the Ashama constituency provided to City News by the EC show the name of the Member of Parliament his photograph, and other registration details. The Director of Public Affairs of the Electoral Commission, Sylvia Anor, says she doubts the alleged figures. However, there are processes in place to address such anomalies. So I'd rather we deal with these issues individually. Now, if, as an individual, if you went to the exhibition centre to check your details and you realise that your name you have registered generally and your name is not on the voters list and your name is not on the exceptions list or the multiple list. You can call for an inclusion form. Still your details you have included on the voters list. So I'd rather we handle these issues individually. We started the exhibition only yesterday and like you rightfully said, you are mentioning a very huge figure, 21,000. So let those individuals go to the centers if they went and they were denied. To be given inclusion for if their names are not on the exceptions list or the multiple list for them to be included on the voters uh, register. Now the essence of the exercise is to make sure that we correct all anomalies. So these things are welcome.